He's home, Sergeant. He's come home. Thank God he's all right. Well, where has he been? Didn't he tell you? No, he didn't. He's acting so strange. I've never seen him like this. How do you mean, Mrs. Johnstone? Well, he just came in the front door, said hello, Mom, sat down in the chair and stared at the floor. Won't talk to his father or me. Mind if we talk to him? Well, no, go ahead. I asked him about the little Martin boy, but he wouldn't tell me a thing. Where is he now? In the dining room. Looks all right, Joe. Yeah. Son. Son, this is a police officer. He wants to talk to you. Well, don't be afraid, dear. He only wants to ask you some questions. Son. You see, Sergeant? Stanley. Look at me, son. Come on, youngster. Get your head up. Come on now. That's better. Had your mother pretty worried, you know that? Want to tell us where you've been? You should try and get him to eat a little something. You hear that, son? You want something to eat? Stanley, there's another little boy up the street who hasn't come home. You know where he is? His father and mother are worried about him, too, just like your folks were. You've got to help us find him, son. I killed him. I killed Steve. What's the 22? We were only playing, but I killed him. How do you know you killed him? Maybe he's only hurt now, isn't that it? No, he's dead. I know he's dead. The gun went off. We forgot we put bullets in there. Where is he, Stanley? I hit him. I was scared. I didn't want anybody to find him. I don't want to go to jail. Where'd you hide him, son? Out in the back under some leaves. I didn't mean it. He was my pal. You want to show us where, Stanley? Yes, I'll show you. Please don't send me to jail. Thursday, December 22nd. Nine-year-old Stanley Johnstone led the way out beyond the backyard of his home. He showed us the wagon he moved the body in. back of the house. There we found the body of Stephen Martin. There was a single bullet wound in his chest just below his heart. He was dead. I knew where it was and I got it. There was a box of bullets with it. Were you pointing the gun at Stephen? No, sir. No, sir, I wasn't. <laughs> it was Steve's turn to play with it. I was chasing him and he... he tripped over that stump there and... the gun hit him in his stomach and went off. Why do you think you killed him if you're telling us the truth? I'm telling the truth. Honest, that's the truth. All right, I believe you, son. But why do you think you killed him? It was my gun. Steve would still be alive if I didn't go get it. I should have waited until Christmas. It's all my fault. Where have you been all this time? Right here. With Steve. What were you doing, son? I was praying. I was praying for God to make you alive again. After a thorough investigation, Frank and I were convinced that the shooting of Stephen Martin was accidental. All evidence indicated that the Johnstone boy was telling the truth. We put in a call to the coroner's office and acquainted him with the facts. He designated a local mortuary to handle the body pending autopsy and granted us permission to remove the body to the Martin home. Mrs. Martin collapsed. The family doctor was called. Frank and I sat in the living room to wait for John Martin, the dead boy's father.
Peters? Peters? Mr. Barton? Yes. You the police? Yes, sir. Where's Edith? Where's my wife? Well, has my boy come home yet? Well, have you found him? Yes, sir. Well, where is he? Stevie? Stevie? Where's Steve? He's hurt, isn't he? Yes, sir. Well, where is he? I want to see him. He's hurt pretty bad, Mr. Martin. Well, where is he? I want to see him. How bad? Pretty bad. Three new cars for the train. The, the one, the one with the searchlight on it. It really works, Stevie. It really works. And and the <laughs> the, the new switch you wanted, and a lot more track. You know, now now you can have a big light out. Mr. Mark. <laughs> what? What happened? It was an accident, sir. He was playing with the Johnstone boy up the street. Playing with a gun. He went off. What was the name of that other boy? Stanley Johnstone. It was an accident, sir. Mr. Mark. I want to see that boy. father had in mind. We didn't feel that we should try to restrain him. We went along with him up the street to the Johnstone home. I'm Stevie's father. Where's your boy? Oh, I'm sorry. We bought the gun and we were going to tell him not to use it unless his father was with him until he learned how to treat firearms. Where's your boy? He's right here. Won't you come in? It's all right, Miss Johnstone. I think that'd be a 
fine idea, son. It all proved, Joe. You don't give a kid a gun for Christmas. On December 24th, the coroner's inquest was held at the county morgue, Hall of Justice, City and County of Los Angeles, State of California. In a moment, the results of that inquest. The coroner's jury ruled that the death of Stephen Martin was the result of an accident. 